Welcome to the Michael Vick Experience. Hey. Welcome to my ride. For the fun start, here's a few tips. Remember, push up in the park. Take zone, seven steps, right? Ten shouldn't take your eggs with the same. Michael Vick is back. They released him this weekend. Probably the biggest release every single year, man. And when does Vick come out? When does Vick come out? You guys know what I do with him. I like to call myself the best Vick user ever. But you know, that's neither here nor there. We got Vick. And the best way to try him out is to play him in a quarter million dollar tournament. This is the Thanksgiving tournament for the MCS. This is ladder play. What you got to do is qualify. These, this is the second of three weekends where you play Saturday and Sunday for seven hours. If you have a good enough record, you can crack into the top uh, 232 people, I believe, is who makes this tournament. And then it's, a, I believe it's a double elimination tournament after that. But you have to play these three weekends. This was my first that I did not play last week. So I had to do well today. I had to do great and to crack into the top 50. My goal is top 50. Get a decent bracket and not have to play the super sweats until the end. I believe the top eight seeds will get a buy in the first couple rounds or something like that. So there is incentive for that. My goal is getting to that top 50, top 30 range. Saturday was my first day playing. But these are a couple games. I want to voice them over. They are more competitive games. Tell you guys what I'm thinking. Uh, when I play sweaty games, I don't really talk that much. I don't really entertain or anything like that. Kind of lock in. So I want to voice these over and tell you guys what I was thinking. I play Little Man, who if you guys are any interest in the mcs man he's been one of the top 10 players in the last his whole life really he's been around competitive men for probably 15 years now really good player and i play rage as well the second game he's in a crew with ghosts and drinny and everything like that he's been an underrated player if you guys have watched friday night footballs on mutthead he's really been performing well on those but those are what i'm playing these but let's take a look at michael vick because all you guys ask me all the time what do you do with michael vick what do you do with this this is how the game works man you have passing quarterbacks and you have like mobile quarterbacks. Escape artist is really good. I don't think it's a pocket pass. If you're a pocket pass, I'm more of a pocket passer. If you're that type, I don't think escape artist is usable. You can't consistently stand back there and throw passes without a pass lead elite, set feet elite, or gunslinger. One of those abilities is going to help you get the passes in there when, when things are open, but they're not wide open, you know, and I think... Without that, the quarterback still lost the ball. It takes a little bit longer to throw. The ball doesn't travel as fast, obviously. And I think it hurts you if you're trying to pass 90 to 95% of the game and you're not scrambling that much. So what I did with Vic as we take a look at him right here, boys, we put the set feet lead on Michael Vic. That's what we're using. Now, the, the abilities in the first and second slot really aren't that impressive. You know, quick draw, and I don't like that. I don't really like any of these abilities. Um, so it's really about a third slot. Do you want escape artist or do you want uh, pass lead elite? Now, it's rare that Michael Vick gets one of these abilities this early in the year. Increased throw power when leading bullet passes. You guys watch me play. I'm more of a passer. So I'm going to have to use this. And with this 93 speed on Michael Vick, he's still able to get out and scramble a little bit, get away from DBs. I will tell you he is a little flat footed when he first takes off in the pocket without that escape artist ability so i think that's a big plus if you want to run around you got to use that escape artist i'm more of a passer i chose to pass so that's what i went with let's get into these games like i said they're a little bit sweaty i'm gonna voice them over give you guys commentary if you're liking these videos please hit the like button please comment subscribe we're closing in on 30,000 subscribers we've been killing the youtube you guys have been supporting it crazy but let's get into these games all right boys let's get into these games this is little man he's got Raiders theme team. Everybody pretty much has this when you get sweaty. Um, he's in the bunch right here, right now. That's pretty much what you'll see in Comp Madden right now. Bunch and this 245 odd. I run Seattle Playbook. My ebook is live on Madden. So if we almost get a pick right there, Jalen Ramsey on that hitch route. Uh, and my defense right now, I'm running is Skimbo's ebook. He put it up 245. He kind of put the world on this defense. It's really good. You get kind of a glitch blitz over here, and it's you got to kind of deal with it as he hits this slant underneath. That's one of his go-to plays, man. 
Uh, the more plays you make people run, the more you get to see what plays they like to go to as he goes to a little short post right there, Jerry Rice. So one of the keys defensively is let's make somebody really take some time to call their plays and run through their plays that they like. And here he goes again, dumps the ball underneath here. Uh, second and 15, actually gets a first down on that. I need my vert hook to be a little more aggressive, make a tackle there. But we got him a first and goal, and the game crashes. Tough part about Madden, but we reset to the same spot. First and goal for him here. He runs with Zach Wilson. The game has been crashing, man. If you guys have been crashing or your Xbox turned off or something like that, uh, you know, it's kind of rough. And right here he goes to some glitch run. I don't know what it is, but it's like an option where the quarterback keeps it. Some glitch. Uh, who knows? But we stop it there. We get him to a fourth and goal right here. He's in the goal line for the first drive. Got to get some points. We don't run commit. And Jalen Ramsey, put your hands out, buddy. Like, ah, uh, man. I don't know how he didn't react to that pass. I thought that should have been an easy pick right here. We'll start right away stepping up. I believe I have secure protector on Rodney Hudson. You can watch him this game. He really holds down uh, holds down his job as Vic takes off when we get down right there. But a lot with this 2-4-5 defense is can your center block the D-tackle, man, as we dump it off right here third. Get to a fourth and short right here. And we're just going to go ahead and hit this in route. Bang. Michael Vick getting rid of the ball pretty fast. Jerry Rice first down. We're going to run the ball. Now, I know you guys watch me play. Uh, when you play competitive games, I run the ball a lot more. I mean, uh, you got to make sure people can stop it. If they're going to give you free runs on, on you know, the run, you got to take it. As Michael Vick steps up, it's hard to scramble up in the pocket with Vick. He takes off, get a couple yards there. Next play, we're just going to dump it off here. A little hitch route, Jerry Rice. When people are guarding the sideline, man, those little hitch routes can definitely get you some yards. Uh, we're going to go for a corner route here looking for it, but underneath, just take the first read that's there. Get a couple yards. If you hold on to the ball and wait for the deep pass, that's when dudes get shedded. That's when you'll get sacked, and that's when you'll get in trouble. Um, right here, we'll have some time. He actually plays man, and we dump it off here to Andre Risen. Bad animation. He went for a pick on a player that was 10 yards away, and we get an end zone with Andre Risen. Big play. He hits that slant again. Remember that slant over the middle. That's one of his reads. Uh, good defense here, but he steps up well enough to get some yards with Zach Wilson. The one thing about Vic, he is fast, but, you know, these Zach Wilson cards, they're, they're just as fast. Right there, we get a big shed. He had people open. He goes back to the same play and hits that slant to Devin Hester underneath him. So we're, hold, we're holding him down as we get a little base right there. We make a tackle. I use Diablo and Cam Chancellor at corner that was close right there i probably could have held y and cam could have went crazy so yeah no i use diablo and cam at linebacker you know they're big bodies they both have acrobat and you see pretty much everybody on my defense with an ability it is acrobat it's the best uh, ability for me as we get a big shed miles garrett the, since they increased it to 14 ap i did throw unpredictable on miles garrett and montez sweat as well here he scrambles around gets out of trouble dumps the ball off and you get another fourth and goal we're not going to run commit, and we're going to get oh, pushed into the end zone. Just, I mean, I, I wouldn't call that lucky, but it was fortunate that he got pushed in the end zone right there. And this is the end of the half. Nothing to do right here. We'll get out of bounds. One more play from the 37-yard line. He's got everybody deep, covering everything. We'll dump it off here. And we'll pitch it just to, you know, just to see if someone's there. Could have got bad. I got to stop playing like it's weekend league, I'll tell you that. But, we're, hey, we're kind of playing to serve. It is 14 to 7. We both had, he had two possessions, two touchdowns. I had one possession, one touchdown. You know, so we got, it, the clock worked out. I don't think there was any clock management things in that first half. But the way it just worked out was that he ran the whole time. And I didn't really have much to do. So, uh, we got to score here to tie the game up. That's going to be big here. As we step up in the pocket with Victor, a missile to TJ Hushmanzada spin move. Boom, right here in the game. I think I don't think we have an incomplete pass with Vic. Underneath, Cordero Patterson, spin move, Baja, touchdown. Make them pay underneath. If they're not going to guard you, if they're not going to guard you underneath, you have to take it. Hits that slant again over the middle with Jerry Rice, I believe. He steps up here. We bring a lot of pressure, but he hits underneath. Andre Risen. We step up. Nice little job. I mean, I feel like he's making the right reads. We're getting tons of pressure on him, but he's just getting rid of the ball, making the right reads right here. That time he throws it away. His first read wasn't open, and it's just a good job getting rid of the ball. Dumps it off underneath Reggie Bush again. He's going to take this inside the 35-yard line. This play, bang. Cam Chancellor. That's why you use him in Diablo. Big bodies over the middle. I was guarding a hitch. 
but we take that corner route to six foot three mutt master cam chancellor him and diablo will always play linebacker for me so we get a huge play spins the title spins the tide of the game gives me all the momentum now we're getting sacks jack tatum around the edge fourth quarter and and it feels good to be up by seven here we need an interception as he throws the ball right at ramsey again i'll be honest watching this game but underneath ramsey again I, the ramsey uh, uh, who are you guys using the corner as he throws underneath in front of Cam on fourth down? I, some Definitely could have got some passes there. Almost get a crazy lurk with Cam right there as well. Yeah, who are you guys using the corner? Because I, right now I got Mike Haynes, who I hate. And I use ooh, Ramsey and Buchanan in the slot. I got the new Woodson, but if you see all these games, he's going to be playing strong safety for me. Now he's using the clock pretty well. He wants to make this the last drive of the game. And I'm okay with that. You know, I'm not really going to use my timeouts unless he gets inside the 10 here. See, look, I'm letting the clock go. If he gets inside the 10 and it's first down, now I might use my timeouts. But I'm going to let it go because I don't think he can score. You know, if he wants to make this the last drive, you still need seven, buddy. Right there. Hester getting crushed by Sean Taylor still gets in. Third and goal. We hold him here. Fourth and goal for the game. What does he go to? The same look, that double wing. Uh, and we get just moved off the ball so crazy give up the touchdown he's gonna go for two no he's not he's gonna shrink up he doesn't want to he doesn't want the glory field goal over the top just like that uh he's able to get the lead we go to overtime i lose the toss i have lost a million coin tosses in overtime this year he dumps the ball off here to reggie bush first down we're able to go ahead and, and corral him next play he gets sacked. Reggie Bush gets called up in the line. Unpredictable Miles Sweat. We get to a third and 12 right here. He's able to dump the ball off to Bush again. Fourth down for the game. We're going to make a simple adjustment. Put our yellows on five and take away that slant. He has been thinking it's been open all game. We take away that slant. That's going to end it. I'm, I feel like you put it on conservative here. You run the ball. Just try to get the field goal closer. I feel like the closer the field goal, the less power you have to get, and then the easier the field goal is. That's just how I feel, but we wind up losing yards. Ball's in the middle of the field. He has no timeouts left. Can't even ice me. Justin Tucker, GG's, right down the middle. We take that win. Tough game. Cam Chancellor made the difference with that crazy lurk. We played good offense. 10 for 10, perfect quarterback rating. Can never complain with that. That's the way you get it done. Jerry Rice made plays. Cordero Patterson, if you only have to pass 10 times and you win, pretty good game right here. Cam Chancellor sealed the game. Bang. I think Ramsey picks that off as well. But the way Ramsey was playing, who knows? Huge play by Cam Chancellor right there. Get him in the middle of your field. He will make plays for you. Second game, now we're playing Rage. Rage like a boss. Uh, like I said, good kid. Uh, he's really been grinding mad and really getting better every single year. Um, he's going to run a lot of Seattle. And he does a good job of stopping the run right here. We get the ball first. Uh... Michael Vick would just dump it off underneath. Just got to take what's there. You don't got to try to do too much. He's running that same blitz that pretty much all the comp players are in right now. So it's tough because it will definitely kind of glitch your running back out. If you guys are running into this online, it is a tough defense to play. Uh, we hit the out route to TJ Hushmazada. Made somebody miss, and we almost almost made the highlight reels in that one. Right here, just peppering with the running back. This Cordero Patterson is an absolute stud. 94 speed running back. You see it right there, just breaking up the hole, breaking up the middle, and we're inside the red zone now. This is where you got to make people pay. Try to scam scramble with Vic. I told you, he's a little flat-footed there in the pocket. Right here, dump it off Cordero. We get inside the 10-yard line. Third and four, we'll run again. Uh, Cordero, I think fourth down, we're going to run again. We're going to sell out. Cordero over the pile. Gets the first down right there. First and goal. We're going to try to run here. Haynes sneaks in there, touches Patterson. Patterson's getting the ball for me a lot, but we'll go underneath here to Sean Alexander. That's why I use him as my team captain because he is a good power back. So, shoot, you might as well have him some use of your team captains. Right here, he hits a big play up the middle. Second play of his offense. He's going to go ahead and hit me with a deep post right here. So, I did all that running and scratching for, for my seven. He gets an easy seven, so that's tough. Right here, we'll step up with Vic. That's how we got good protection. Pick up 12 yards. Anytime you can do that with the quarterback, it's a big deal. Same thing, next play. Pick up another huge chunk, almost 20 yards. Get another first down. Cordero Patterson, we're going to keep testing. So 
you know, if you're not going to put a spy, not going to put anybody in the middle of the field, but right there he was in the middle of the field as he catches a huge pick with Diablo. That was similar to the one I caught last plant, didn't it? It was, I mean, he jumped and he was 15 yards in front of the receiver I do too, but that's the game. You got to know that as a player. Uh, that's why we try not to pass in the middle of the field that much because those dudes can affect so many routes because they're so tall. That's my first incompletion of this YouTube video, by the way. Uh, so we've been playing really well. I will tell you yesterday for the ladders, I played very well. Probably the best man I've played all year. Really just taking what was there, making plays. Cordero Patterson is just a stud. He's just a money man. He's a guy you have to key on defensively. Right here he keys on him and I hit TJ Hushmanzada over the middle. First down. It's closing in the end of the, se the first half here. Once again, Patterson. But we get out of bounds, save some time. 28 seconds left in the half. Patterson again into the end zone. You got a key on him, man. If you're not going to take away the running back, you're going to be in a bad way defensively in this Madden 22. Make sure you take him away. Ways to do that, zero yard zones, um, manning him up, three racks. Uh, but manning him up doesn't matter. But the biggest thing about manning up right there, Woodson misses the tackle there. I could have got a big hit stick, but we wind up giving three away here for free, except he misses the field goal. You have to be a, a child to miss a field goal in Madden. But he missed the field goal, so... Hey, we'll take it, right, boys, as we get a hit stick when he tries to run the ball here. Here he's going for a big play, but boom, Cam Chancellor, crazy diving acrobat pick. It is the best ability in the game, acrobat. Make sure you guys have it. Next play, I feel like I've been saying Cordero Patterson too much, but, you know, that's what you got to do. If they give you Cordero, you got to take it. Corner route, he hits over here to Devin Hester. Woodson, uh, as he hits him. A streak right there. I manned him up, and he got blown by, but Sean Taylor with a huge tackle. You make those tackles, make them pay down here, but he walks in pretty easily. But still got to make him work. We're in a tie game right now. Tie game, uh, and we're able to go ahead, and, and we can take the lead right here. Let's take some time off the clock. We dumped the ball off to Jerry Rice on that little whip route. Another base. The one thing about this odd, it is a little bit weak against the run. If you can mix those in, you can definitely give people trouble. TJ Hushmanzato over the middle. I mean, I kind of like that card. I kind of like that card. I'm going back to him. Come back and get the football. That's stick work right there. If you would have let the computer catch that, eh. And right here, we'll step up in the pocket. This is the best pass of the weekend. Oh, corner route pass lead to the left and up. Touchdown. TJ Hushmanzada. He hits the delay route. You just want to fight the person. Every time they do throw the delay route, you just want to beat them up because it's just so frustrating. But we're doing all right. We got, him in, we got him down seven, so things are good. Has some time here. I don't know. Where's my pass rush? What are we doing here? Boys, can anybody get home? And he's able to flick the ball out here to Devin Hester. Big play. I mean, three-man rush had no shot there, huh, boys? So we'll send four this play. Get some pressure. Force him to throw the ball away. Tatum all over. I don't know how... Josh Allen can run away from Tatum, but Vic can't run away from the fat guys. Look at this. I mean, so for me, part of it is, is it worth having Vic if Josh Allen can do this and have Gunslinger at the same time? Again, finally we get after him. We hold him. We are in the fourth quarter now. Four minutes left. And did we just swarm to the football here? Buchanan, all the boys... Third and long right here. Once again, everyone's swarming to the football. Beautiful pass right there over Cam Chancellor. Gets him inside the five, and we get a sack right here. Warren Sapp actually gets a sack there. Has all day and high balls. That's a good play. Way to get his feet in. A lot of times when you do those, your feet don't get in, but he ties the game. Now this is money time. What we're going to do here is we are going to take the time. That all we need is a field goal. We win the game with a field goal. That's all we need. We take a two-minute warning. He has his timeout. So do I. Whip route underneath Jerry Rice. Stay in bounds. Keep that clock running. We're gonna run the ball again. The clock. I have no. The, the clock is no concern for me. Only for him, really. But right here, we call a bad play and we get sacked. Thirty seconds left. We're gonna just dump the ball up here to Cordero Patterson. We're not in field goal range left yet. We're gonna get out of bounds. Fourth and six for the game. We're gonna step up here and we're gonna throw a beautiful scene pass over here to Andre. Bad Moon rising inside the ten. Uh, now we just got to milk the clock, really. So we're going to run tosses and try to waste some time back here. Uh, just because, you know, I, I'm cool with taking my three, obviously, to win the game. We'll pass here. I didn't really want to pass, but since he's wide open, I'll dump it off to Patterson. Obviously, we're on conservative here, so you take hits like that. You won't fumble. He uses all his timeouts. We take our three. Six seconds left in the game. One play. 
We're in three deep for this one. Backing them up, backing them up, backing them Just run deep. Don't look at anything else. Just run deep. We're deep. We're looking good. Nothing doing. GG's. Throws the ball away. Love these games. Uh, really fun to play. And this was the game-winning dot as we drop back. It is just a wheel route verticals on cover two. Hit it down the sideline. We swerve inbounds a little bit to make sure we get our feet in. If you watch that, we go left a little bit. Boom. Good animation. Andre rising. Here, this is just a beautiful pass. Stepping up. Hudson holding it down. You see that cloud flat on the right. Maybe a 20-yard flat and a deep blue in the middle. We're just going to pass lead left and up. And we're going to catch this at the A with TJ Hushmanzada. That's what you want to do. Look at that beautiful pass. Boom. Back of the end zone. TJ is my... He is my he is my slot receiver with that slot automatic man. Please hit the like button. Please sub for more of these videos, boys.